Thank you all for being here with us today. Um, for those of you who do not know, I am Jason Brizendine, the Elwood Police Chief. I didn't want to do this, any of this. Those of you who have, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Those who don't, I pray, with, pray you never do. I can tell you how thankful we are to Noah and especially his family for sharing him with us, for sharing your grandson, your son, nephew, cousin, and brother with the Elwood Police Department, the city of Elwood, and millions of officers, deputies, and every blend of first responders. Noah was and will always be our brother. As the chief, I have, whether wanted or not, different perspectives. This also applies to Noah. He was more than a police officer, more than an Elwood police officer. Just one example was just this week, uh, Lieutenant Steve Guthrie shared a mission statement Noah wrote while at the academy. In the statement were the profound words well beyond what we'd think a new officer would understand. The very first line was, respect the badge, and the Elwood Police Department. Integrity and honesty was with him his whole young life, proudly serving our country in the United States Army for five years. Um, after the first phase of the hiring process at the Elwood Police Department, Assistant Chief Kyle Comer came directly to me and said, you're going to love this guy. Um, they obviously, my guys know how picky I am when we hire. Um, so anyways, later on in the process for the hiring, Kyle, the assistant chief, and I conducted an in-home interview with Noah and his family. Noah answered the door wearing a press suit and tie and had the largest never-ending grin on his face. While speaking with his parents and little brother during the interview, it was immediately apparent how close, caring, and kind his family was. Mom, Dad, and Elijah could not have been more proud of Noah. Within minutes of completing the interview, as Assistant Chief and I was heading back to Elwood, it only took a few minutes to decide to call Noah and offer him the job immediately. He was hired on August 21st, 2021, as an Elwood police team and family member. Even with Noah gone, our families, friends, and communities still need protected. Noah entered law enforcement at the peak of social criticism, never strayed from his goal despite it. Despite the violence and atrocities, service beyond one's own self is still calling among this generation. They are expected to do the job delicately in one of the most vicious times in our history. This generation of police are expected to execute their duties by a constantly changing set of rules despite the prevalence of evil scrutinized for every decision, every action. A job which seemingly has no gain or little upside for qualified candidates, positions are still being filled by brave men and women like Noah. Noah loved his job and quickly excelled at it. He was a little brother to the family at the old police department. Okay, I'm unsure who this author was. Um, but this quote resonated with me this week. A true police officer fights, not because he hates what's in front of him, but because he loves who stands behind him. To the Chanavez family, Elwood 39, brother to us all, will forever be in our hearts. Matt, Lori, Elijah, Sarah, Noah's legacy will be carried out through you as part of our police department family. 